and hello again back for um i think it's the third or the fourth video in this series so if you haven't watched the others um go to my youtube account and uh, you'll find the process videos for the end result of this so i did a throwing video and a turning video a manipulating video and now we're going to do burnishing and carving so I'm not going to burnish the whole form because that would be a bit boring to watch because it takes a while so I've burnished most of a piece and I've left some of it unburnished so you can kind of see the difference it's nice and shiny and smooth this is just the raw clay and it's not smooth so that's the bit that I'm going to do so um, I use a smooth stone for burnishing I've got quite a few different shapes and sizes and things but for these manipulated forms I find these skinny ones really good because you can get into the nooks and crannies of the manipulating so that's why I like this one for this particular um, form but yeah I've got quite a few different shapes and sizes so it's good to have a little collection so I'm going to put the camera down now and we'll just finish him off this burnishing and then I'll start with a little bit of carving I won't do the whole thing again because you know it'll it'll be a bit repetitious so um, but it's a very intuitive process I'm just kind of following the shape of the form so I'm not really approaching it with a plan per se just um, just feeling it as it goes so I'll pop the camera down and we'll get started on that so I'm going to do the burnishing first I've just got this little section left okay so this is the section that I'm doing okay all right and it's just a matter of going back and forth over the surface in a few different directions you can go in a circular motion as well I kind of go in a few different directions to get an even finish And the round stone is good for getting in these little dents that I sometimes make in the form as well. kind of hear the difference from when it's smooth and then when you start on a rough part just turn that round so that I can get into just checking all these nooks and crannies as I turn it around I think I've done them all yep okay all right just do this one So you can see why I, I didn't do the, an entire video of burnishing the whole, the whole piece because it wouldn't be very exciting. Okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm applying, you know, fairly, you know, a fair bit of pressure because the piece is leather hard, so it's, it's holding its form, so I can put a little bit of pressure on it. 
so you do have to put a little bit of pressure just to get that burnishing happening all right and I think that that might be about it so I'll start with the carving um, carving tools wise it depends on what I want to create so there's lots of options okay that looks like just checking I haven't missed any bits but I'm pretty sure I haven't okay so carving wise we've got of course scraffito tools we usually have different shapes on each end so that you can create different designs i'm not going to be using any of those today for what i'm doing um there's also these little metal tools these are available on the website they're in a set of six i use these quite a lot different different um sizes and hole punches and this little guy which I use quite a lot which is also on the website um, in a set of I think it's a set of five pieces look like surgical instruments okay let's go um so i'm just gonna i might just start here on this curve here and see how we go like i said i'm not going to video the whole carving because you know it'll also be a little bit possibly you know, not super duper exciting because it will be, get a bit repetitive so these hole makers are really good they just turn twist if it doesn't come out it can go in and it'll become a musical instrument <laughs> okay I'm just going to space some of those along that curve Yeah, I want to create a bit more dimension with these rather than just having them. So I'm just going to twist. This is just a wooden skewer. And that's just giving the hole a bit more dimension. Just make it look a bit more interesting rather than just a straight in and out hole. So you can see why it's easier to burnish first because otherwise I'd have to burnish around all of these little carvings which would be not optimal. So 
So because the carvings are not burnished, they'll also offer a slightly different colour response and textural response in the pit, which will look good as a contrast. All right, so now I'm going to go around those with this tool, which has got a little scoop on one end and a bit thicker than a needle tool on the other end. I'm just going to twist that. Make a series of... Now I'm just going to use a paintbrush just to kind of gently flick away all of those little might be a little bit more up here. So now I'm going to use the other end. Just to maybe go around those. I'm not carving the entire surface like that one that I showed you at the beginning is only partially carved and that's because I still do want to maintain some of the smooth burnished surface to have um, a good colour response in the pit firing. So that's why I'm not burnishing at all. I mean, sorry, carving it all. A little mark there that I'll just burnish out. Just 